All right. Uh, hi, my name is Tom Werner. Uh, I'm a sophomore here, and I'm actually the, the lone guy out here. I study computer science and math and not any sort of pre-med related field. Um, and, I, and I work for uh, Dr. Tapara over in the computer science department. So when people ask me what I do for research, I tell them I spy on sixth graders. And, <laughs> and by spy, I mean every single Facebook post they make, every tweet, and every text message they send, I download, collect, and store on my server. Now, the purpose behind this data collection is to identify cyberbullying. We want to know what it is, how it happens, and who is doing it. Now, more specifically, my research has actually been to develop the tools and infrastructure necessary to do this data collection and allow for the analysis of it to try and find the patterns behind bullying. Now, the first step of this process was to gain access to people's online lives. For the middle school students that are in our study, their online lives revolve around their smartphones, and so we begin with an app. To explain how it works, I'm going to talk about Candy Crush. Now, I'm sure at least some of you here have gotten one of those game invites from Candy Crush saying, come play me, come play me, from one of your friends. The reason the game is able to send those <coughs> invites is because when people play the game, they sign in using their Facebook account, and they give the game a tiny key to part of their account, and the game can unlock it and send those requests. Now, when people sign up for our study, they do so using our registration app. And when they do that, they sign in with their Facebook account and they give us a key to part of their account. We then upload that key along with some other information like their phone number and email address to our server. Our server then takes that information and passes it off to our data collection suite, which uses that key to unlock their Facebook account and get the messages and posts that they've made. We then download all of that information along with text messages and tweets. We encrypt the data to protect the privacy of our users. And at this stage, we can format it and manipulate it however we want to do the analysis of the data. Now, the data itself isn't all that useful because it's very hard to identify what bullying is. Playful banter with a friend, you know, if I say you suck today, it's very different than someone actually bullying. And just by text alone, we can't really tell what that is. And so using that same registration app, every week we send out surveys asking if the students feel like they've been bullied over a variety of different uh, types of social media. That way we can cross-reference that data with the, the text and such that we've collected. So if a student says, I've been bullied, and the, the text looks bullying, then we can say this is actually bullying. Now the development of this entire system, from the registration app to the data collection, all of this, should allow us to analyze this data to try and find the patterns of bullying. Right now we're still in the data collection phase and so we don't have any cyberbullying results yet, but the collection has been overwhelmingly successful with over 15,000 text messages collected and nearly 10,000 Facebook posts. Hopefully this will allow us to identify and prevent cyberbullying in the future. Thank you.